Hey. Hello. Good morning. morning. Look who's here. You're working today. That's good. Happy New Year. <laughs> Mayor 24 7. That's right. Well, we're certainly glad to have you here, Mayor Lane Wilkerson. And uh, we're closing out 2023. Mm -hmm. And we know a lot of stuff has happened this year. So uh, we thought maybe you could come in and give us some highlights, give us a little roundup of everything that's uh, been this, going this on. This is what we do this time of year, you know, yeah. the, the year end list. Yeah. And everyone looks back and, and, and pl plans for the future. That's right. Mm -hmm. you know, we hope 24 is going to be just as successful or more so than and then 2023 but uh you know from the mayor's standpoint the community's been through a lot this past year i think a lot of people have seen a lot of new businesses open up mm -hmm. in town small businesses uh, i saw it in the paper last week that they profiled uh, i don't know at least 10 new businesses yeah. nice. that, that yeah. opened up so we're excited about that and uh, a lot of major projects that we move forward on as a community and a, the board of commissioners and uh, not least of which is the downtown uh, master plan the the parcels uh, we made some progress on the transit center and that's going to uh, unlock the rest of that development which uh, we should expect to see in january uh, more movement there so i think people will um, uh, start to see that where the ymca is start to to uh, there's going to be progress there in in, this, in January. Okay. So maybe even next week. So, so what's going to happen to the YMCA there? They're going to uh, demolish it. Are they really? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the plan right now. And uh, I think that they, uh, originally the plan was December, uh, but because of the inauguration, uh, right. the, I think the permit was de delayed mm -hmm. on that. And uh, and then also to accommodate the existing hotel, the, you know, holidays, they have you know the, sure. the things going on there. Yeah. But, I think January you'll start to see more of that uh, move, and then the the actual transit center itself and the garage should be complete somewhere between March and May. And if I were, you know, if I'd, yeah. I'd say May. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh, they're oh, making progress. Spring. Though. Yeah. Springish. Ish. <laughs> I was down there. I had to I had to get a new driver's license because I don't, if you're watching, look at your ex expiration date because I don't ever look at it. And then I found out when I went to go get the medication <laughs> that it was a month expired. Uh, and I went down to the, uh, to the cabinet and, uh, first of all, props to, to Jim Gray. Cause I got in and out of there in like 15 minutes. There you go. I don't know. They were on a tight ship, but I did see all the progress. I hadn't been down there in a while yeah. and saw that, you know, saw some of the garage going up. So that's exciting to see. It's exciting. And, uh, I know, uh, well, secretary Gray had something to do with that mm -hmm. too. He was involved in the, in the groundbreaking and the state kicked in some money on that to match the federal. And mm -hmm. so that's going to be exciting. People will start to see that. Also, riverfront development. Mm -hmm. This year, we uh, the, the city acquired two properties mm -hmm. on the riverfront as a as an effort to uh, develop that and to make this a holistic plan, a comprehensive plan to connect the downtown out to Buffalo Trace and, and mm -hmm. just uh, follow the the guidelines of our downtown master plan to make yeah. that more of a tourist corridor. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Well, you know, in the in the parcels being seen, once the transit center is done, and there's going to be development there. You know what my question is. A bar, barcade? Is there going to be a barcade? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. That's a good question. I, I mean, we'll I will have to make not sure. stop beating the barcade drum. Yeah. I think if, as long as we get more people downtown, okay. living downtown, <laughs> mm -hmm. and the tourists seem to be coming. I don't okay. know, this year, I've yeah. noticed that uh, there, there, there are more tourists coming, yeah. and we've seen more lodging come online. Right. Uh, this next year, we hope to see the Broadway Hotel uh, the, the Hotel St. Clair open up, and of course we've had more Airbnbs open. And as long as we can accommodate the tourists that are coming and expected to come in the next few years, more people equals more spending. It could and be a bourbon-themed barcade. Mm. Well, why not? <laughs> Let's get on that this okay. post haste. Okay. No, I think that that I think you know once we see more, more people that we'll be able to support and and the businesses we're starting to see we've yeah. seen bars of course open up yeah. bourbon themed bars, mm -hmm. restaurants uh, are coming, uh, but then also the retail you know that's that critical mass we need downtown. Right. And it's not just downtown that that we're seeing this happen. It's the west side too, the east side. On the west side, we made progress um, that just last uh, week. We approved the de new development plan for the west side, uh, the, the, the paddocks, paddocks area, yeah. which isn't just the, the paddocks is one piece of that, mm -hmm. but really it's the entire everything to the east west connector mm -hmm. that it's a new road system that's going mm -hmm. to be and working with Secretary Gray and the governor on this to uh, make this happen because 
we, we, you can't really develop that unless you have a new road system because right. of the traffic concerns. And so how solid is that paddock's plan? It's pretty solid. Mm. So are we talking about what's going to be in there yet? Uh, they're not uh, revealing that okay. just yet, but it, it's uh, <laughs> everything's a go right now. The city yeah. is uh, committed to, uh, we're making an investment, mm. and, and that's the thing. We're, we're, what we've done over the past year is we're, we're making investments in the future of Frankfurt, and uh, we're putting in some, but the state's putting in quite a bit as well and really it wouldn't happen without that partnership that we've developed with Team Kentucky mm -hmm. and um, I think that's going to be critical going right. forward. Sure. Speaking of Team Kentucky, I don't think we've talked to you since the inauguration. Mm -hmm. uh, glowing reviews of our local officials yes. down there. Yes, you are Good. great. Great. And so we it's a great representation. Yeah. Well that's, uh, yeah, if you talk about favorite memory, you know, uh -huh. there's personal memories and yeah. then there's the mayor memories, but that was probably the, the, the biggest sure. highlight as far as the, uh, the, the 2023 being the mayor. Sure. Because it's one, it's you get to do it once every four years, right. and it's it's arguably the biggest stage you'll be on as mm -hmm. the mayor of Frankfurt. And uh, we, it was just a, one of those days where it was uh, busy throughout the whole day, mm -hmm. but we just wanted to mm -hmm. uh, add to the event and not detract. Mm -hmm. And that was uh, <laughs> something that you know we had a moment to speak in front of everyone, and right. we wanted to, we needed to nail it. It was great, and you yeah. did. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you and the judge both. I thought yeah. did a great job. And, and everything yeah. seemed to go well. Uh, glowing, glowing reviews mm -hmm. as far as our public safety officials, right. emergency management, everything went went well. That's awesome. They spotlighted y'all's breakfast with the uh, yeah. with the governor and the first lady mm -hmm. and, the, mm -hmm. and the and the kids. That's a tradition. Yeah, you know, we deliver the yeah. the cake and. Uh, ham and biscuits right. so that was a great yeah. and, and it's and it's great because we we know them now personally yeah. mm -hmm. and it's just a familiar right uh, event and and we get to you know it's 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 neat taking it over to people you know and, right right here's cake yeah, right. here's some cake <laughs> well just to have the local connection right, right. like right. That they're there sure. and, and, we're here and they and are all, local people right. mm -hmm. and i said that in the, in my remarks yeah. it's i'm I, you know i get the I'm the only mayor who gets to say that the governor is uh, my constituent. Yeah. And that's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is very neat. So what else are we going? Well, and looking forward to this next year, uh, I'm, you know, of course, there's a, uh, I've announced that I'm going to run again. And that's, oh, yeah. uh, <gasps> and so, and so we're excited about that. I, I just think I've, I've enjoyed uh, being mayor mm -hmm. and it's a privilege to be yeah. mayor of my hometown. And, I just think that right now, the, the, I'm, I'm proud to represent and articulate and give voice to mm -hmm. the residents of Frankfurt, uh, just like we saw like, you know, in support of the plant board. Right. I know that was something that was important for the community. And I think looking forward, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to developing the right out there, well, continuing to work with the relationships we have with the state officials, Team Kentucky, the governor, mm -hmm. all the cabinet secretaries, and then those in, the, in, in Washington as well. We got a lot of ask right now. There are a lot of projects in the works. They're going to need some funding, right. and city can do some, but right. we, we want to make sure we're getting our fair share from right. the state and, and Washington as well. Absolutely. Can can we go back to uh, one project? Just curious, mm -hmm. uh, the Broadway Bridge. Yes. Where are we on that? Well, there was a big meeting last week to mm -hmm. uh, get an update, uh, and it looks like that. Uh, it might happen in 2025 okay. is when they're looking and they they looked at different options but right now the most likely option is to rebuild the deck so you know, and and restore the trust that's there so if you're you know once the whole thing is redone it'll look like it's kind of the same bridge mm -hmm. but really it's going to be new uh, underneath the piers will be new and uh, we're working with the state on that and okay. um, but the city has made a commitment, okay. and the state has made a commitment. And uh, but really, it's gonna we're gonna need the state's help on this okay. to to see that. But they see the value of this being part of our downtown and riverfront development plans. It's mm -hmm. a part of two plans mm -hmm. that, uh, in terms of there's the walk bike aspect mm -hmm. and the recreational aspect, but it's also the attraction aspect and the revitalization of our riverfront. Sure. It's uh, there's the it's part of a, a you know, cohesive plan, but that's one thing that needs to happen soon because of the condition of the bridge. Well, I was going to say, because yeah. then if you're a boater, you want to make sure that you're right. safe going under right. the bridge. <laughs> right. It's, uh, that's why that's taken, uh, that, yeah. that's why it's at the forefront because of the condition. Yeah. Yeah. And we need to work with transportation to make yeah. sure that that's put back in service. Okay. Well, good. That's a good update. Yeah. I appreciate that. Well, as you mentioned, you have announced that you're running for mayor. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have been in the position... 
This is my. Th- this is the end of my third year almost. Three right? years already. Yeah, wow. Can you believe that? So you're. This is you're in your your last year of this term. Looking forward to another. Over your last over, over the whole f- term that you've had, what is your best memory? <laughs> so that's a good. I, yeah. Well, inauguration's going to be yeah. tough mm-hmm. to beat in terms yeah. of an individual. But I'm just proud of the, this commission, and and looks like this will be our last year as this iteration of the yeah. city commission mm-hmm. working together. And you know, we went through. We, we started going in COVID, and so we right. were meeting oh, yeah. virtually for a long yeah. time. And I'm, I'm proud of what we've done and accomplished in really a short amount of time. Right. I mean, the, the amount of projects that we've gotten off the ground and started, and, and then internally the things that we've had to, uh, with, the, with the drop in tax revenue. And then this year, we, our, our budget, we just had our audit uh, presented to us last week. And we were, you know, in terms of revenue, better than expected, expenses, Better than lower than expected. Mm-hmm. We have a surplus, and we just got uh, reaffirmed by S and P for our AA rating in terms of our credit rating. You know, the, really, the finances are strong right now. We have very little debt, mm-hmm. so I'm proud of that. And we've modernized our our uh, finances too in terms of our investment policy statement. I think that uh, we're, we're setting Frankfurt up, the, the foundation there for future success. I think we're in very good shape. Mm-hmm. And, and then with the projects that are in the works, you know, everything's in play right now. Mm-hmm. And I think, and, and from what I'm hearing from people from outside that are visiting Frankfurt, like Frankfurt's a thing right now. Mm-hmm. And we need to make sure that we continue to have the steady, thoughtful leadership and disciplined approach to decision making and the patience to see these things through. Right, right. Well, the, you know, the judge has talked about this and, and you as well, that things don't happen overnight, you know, and you right. have to make decisions that maybe you don't even necessarily see the benefit of, mm-hmm. right? Uh, the plant board being, being one of those, right? It's right. easy to say, oh, well, we'll take the cash, but it's like, this is an important thing to have for a long time. Right. And uh, it's, it's, I feel like the, you know, the city is, is taking that stance over right. the last few years, right? right. Really looking out into the future about where, where we need to be positioned. Right. And we're know. making the case statewide and then nationally that Frankfurt we're willing to do this mm-hmm. and I think that there was a perception for a while that Frankfurt didn't want to grow mm-hmm. and wasn't willing to grow but we are right. and this is this is the new Frankfurt mm-hmm. and we're making that case and some of these things it's gradually mm-hmm. and then it happens all at once and right. I think that's where we are right now we're going to start to see a few of these things come to fruition point, right? right there mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. people will you know now's the time and we're seeing it with the investment downtown People don't put multi-million dollars into properties unless they think something's going to happen. Mm-hmm. I think that's where we are right now. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, again, I, I would again like to thank you personally and professionally as being a, an employee of the Frankfurt Plant Board uh, for your support of the Frankfurt Plant Board uh, and you know the issues that we've been facing with the possible legislation. Uh, thank you because I know you have given your support personally and then also mm-hmm. as as the mayor and. Uh, the city commission offering their resolution last week and it just it really means a lot and it shows our city that um that our leadership you know wants wants us to be together as a community uh the fiscal court did the same thing they did a a letter of support to the legislature we'd like to thank them and i think it says a lot that all of our elected city leaders um, have chosen to to come out and and support it's one of the best things about frankfurt and i think i said it in my editorial it's it highlights all the best characteristics of frankfurt and we are unique Mm -hmm. than that we have uh, uh, the well we're not unique in that we have control over our our critical utilities but the way that we operate them and i think it is good to have that barrier and that buffer and um, i'm happy to support it and and i and i think people should know that you know it this was you know it's not. It wasn't being proposed that the entire plant board be sold. It right. Was a, it was the telecom part of it, but it did. It was going to change the structure. It was going to change the structure, and then we the, feel like would open the door to the possibility right. of this happening in right. the future. It would make it easier to sell it in the future. <laughs> right. But That's no, right. and but right now, it, it, like I said in the paper, don't mess with success. If mm-hmm. it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Sure, we can tweak things, and we'll work internally to do that. Absolutely. But that's what I said. Also, we can handle that within our community mm-hmm. and that's where I and that's why we need to have good leadership yeah, here in our right. community and that's why we need to articulate that too. <laughs> yeah. exactly. but, I did, but we wanted to see what was coming uh, in that proposal first once we sure. saw that like okay yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. okay 
All right. Well, again, we yeah. appreciate it. We appreciate it. Can I say one thing today? December oh, 29th. Please. Happy anniversary oh. to my wife, Natalie. Hey. Oh, Natalie. My lovely wife, Natalie. Oh, Love you. And uh, look where we are. Hey. Look how far we've come. <laughs> oh, that's so yeah. sweet. We like Natalie. And uh, we do. We wish you happy anniversary as well. You 19 years ago 19. in front of the old Capitol is where we got married. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, uh, are y'all going to celebrate big time this weekend? Big time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> but, well, what yeah. are your New Year's Eve plans? Y'all have something big? Yeah, yeah. Nothing big planned. No, we're going to go to dinner with our, our girls and that's yeah. and, and get home early. Will okay. you make it to midnight or no? We'll make it to midnight. Okay. But probably not to 1230. Right. <laughs> Well, as always, we appreciate uh, your time and yes. your mayor's moment. Last one of 2023. Yeah. And uh, look forward to seeing you more in 24. Absolutely. Just do it all again. Yeah. We'll see you in January. All right. Bye, y'all. Next year. Yes. Yeah. All right. Happy New Year. Happy yeah, New likewise. Year. Thank you so much, Mayor.